Hi, and welcome to another Jazzly session. Now, one of the most useful functions that any presenter could have is access to the instance palettes over here. And these are great for quick play of spot effects, especially if you're doing like competitions and giveaways or even comedy. And they also work well for the presenter to be able to access sweepers for their shows as well as station IDs. So today, I just want to show you quickly how to load some material into your palette. Let's just have a listen to what I mean by sweepers. Um, under special sweepers over here, I already have something loaded in. Let's have a listen. This is the wireless connected. All right, fantastic. So the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that on your computer system and on your network, you have a dedicated place or file location path for Jazzla. And what I've done is for everything related to these Jazzla tutorials, I've created a special folder in my documents over here. And then inside of there, I've got the music for Jazzla, the, the different drops and so on and so forth. And I keep that file path consistent. I don't cut things out and move things because what will happen is uh, when you come to play out those files, you must remember that in Radio Star, the links are exactly that. When you click over here, it's actually linking to a very specific file path. So if you move that file path, what's going to happen is the file will come up as an error because it won't be able to find where on the computer it's supposed to be linking to. So it's just a really great idea to keep everything in the same place where you know where it is, where to find it, and don't move it. Okay, great. So let's have a look at my palettes over here. You can actually see that I've named my palettes. And this is really cool as well because I can click on, say, voice sweepers. You'll see that it's all empty at the moment. Special sweepers. I've got news and then, of course, my power sweepers. So um, it's labeled here as sound effects, but uh, I've got it under power sweepers at the bottom over here. So let's have a look at how we can actually rename and create our own palette. So we'll need to go to our control panel into the databases uh, tab over here and click on instant jingles palettes. And this is where we can really customize what it is that we're looking for. So right now I want to go to the big tick where it says options. And uh, under general properties, you can have a look at uh, the different options, playback options as well. But I want to go straight to palettes. And I'm going to now, I can either change, delete, or add some palettes. So you can see I've got comedy, news, sound effects, special sweepers, voice sweepers. If I want to add a new palette, I can click on it and I can name it. And then, of course, uh, let's just do that, for example. Let's just add in a tutorial, for example. And uh, that will now be my new palette. And I click on OK. Restart Jazzler for some changes to take effect. So a restart is required and you can do that for right now. I'm just going to say no because I've got the palettes that I want already. I'm going to exit that and go back into the studio. And now I want to show you how to actually add some files to your palette. It's really, really simple. The first thing that you want to do is, let's say, for example, I want a voice sweeper. So I click at the bottom and make sure that voice sweeper is actually active. And then you right click your mouse on one of these gray squares and up pops a window. And this is where you can now find your file. Uh, you click on the three dots and it'll take you to explore window. And of course, we want to go to the Jazda tutorials window and I'm looking for voice sweeper. So I'm just going to grab one of these and I'm going to open that up and we can have a listen to it. We can audition it now. Back to back heads on the wireless. All right, fantastic. And the really cool thing is that we've got colors over here. So I, I'm going to choose green for this particular one. And I'm going to say OK. And you can see that it's now highlighted green. So let's uh, choose a different one. By left clicking, you can, say, you can see it says this button is empty. To enable this button, you must right click on it and find the audio files that you want it to represent. So we right click over here. We go again to our three dots. We go and find uh, a sweeper that we're looking for. So let's uh, say, for example, I'm looking for something different. Uh, let's do more music. And we say open. Let's have a listen. More music on the wireless. 
fantastic. I'm going to give it a color. And this time around, let's go for the turquoise. And you can see that it's going to be highlighted that color. And we say, OK. And you can see now that I've got two different instances loaded up on my voice sweepers. Right, let's go to the power sweepers. So I'm going to click on power sweeper and do exactly the same thing. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go and explore. And uh, I'm going to go and find that folder. We're looking for particular special sweepers. Uh, and we're going to open up here, have a listen. The wireless. Music like never before. Don't forget about me. I can live in your dreams. I'm not the person who make you fall in love and then fall asleep. All right, that really is a special sweeper, so we're going to pop it in over there. And uh, let's have a look at another one that we can load. Grab it in. Urban Life at its best. We say open and have a listen. Urban Life at its best. All right, you can see that my time over there was a little bit uh, shorter than what's indicated. Let's have a listen again. Urban Life at its best. Right, and I'm just going to put a new end time and say OK. And you can see that it's given me, instead of four seconds, it's now given me the exact time that I want it to be. This is really important. Um, I'm going to demonstrate that to you quickly. Uh, if, for example, we have songs and uh, we're jumping between the songs, we just want to make sure that our timing is fantastic. And I, I don't actually like this music like never before one over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say delete and say so let's uh, remove it from there and let's just keep this urban life at its best. Now, one of the really important things that you need to remember is that they are meant to be sweepers, meaning they're meant to play over the music or in between the music, linking and joining so that there's uh, no silence out on air. And uh, what you want to do is you want to have the auto gain function flashing so that basically what it does is it ducks the music so that uh, the sweeper is nice and loud. The music is pushed down a little bit while the sweeper is playing and then the music will come back to its normal levels. All right, now let me show you what happens when you load up a file. Let's uh, just grab news, for example, and uh, we're going to choose a news slot. So we're going to go and have a look where I've put the news drops. And uh, let's do a news power. Uh, have a listen. This is the news. All right. Really nice. So we're going to choose that one. And uh, let's now right click and choose a different one. Uh, let's say, for example, news chorus three. So um, let's grab that open a little bit so I can just make sure. All right. So we're going to do news chorus three, the top one and say open. This is the news. All right. And we say, let's give it a different color. Let's give it that nice uh, turquoise color again. This is the news. All right. Fantastic. So when we click it, it plays. This is the news. What I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to go back into my hard drive and uh, I'm going to move that this is the news, the drive vocal chorus. So I'm going into Jazz Lit Tutorials to my news drops and it was news chorus three. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just cut that out for a second and I'm going to place it somewhere else. I'm going to place it just over here so we know exactly where to find it again. I'm going back into the studio and here's the first drop. This is the news. Fantastic. So that's still linking and still playing. And now we're going to try this one. And it says, oh my goodness, the file does not exist. Yes, the file does exist. But what's happened is it's looking for it in the place that we originally had it, which was inside our Jazzla folder. Uh, and in the news drops folder. So what we've done is we've moved it out of where it was originally linking to. So this is why it is so important to create a specific place on your network and your hard drive for all the material related to Jazzla. Right, let's uh, take that and uh, I'm going to drag it and drop it back. Right, 
And now we're going to need to go back into our studio and we're going to have to reload it. So we'll choose it again. And uh, let's find our news chorus three and we'll just say open. And we'll give it that turquoise color again and say OK. And there it is. So let's have a listen to what happens with these sweepers. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you again in the next video. Back to back heads on the wireless. Try to say the word, but I'm not talking. I'm a fool. I treat you like a did a shit. You said that it's my fault that you're not coming, babe. It's on me. I think it's you. You're the real fool. Yeah, I said that I would get to know you on the leaves, but look around, there's no sky, there's no sky, and I'm here. I said that I would get to know you on the leaves, but look around, there's no sky. Urban life at its best. What would I do without you in my life? You blew my mind, you stole my eyes. I don't wanna leave, please keep me on your side. Oh, yeah. this is the wireless connected. Tell me if you want to follow me now To follow me Don't want to be alone Take me into your arms and never leave me Don't leave me, boy 